And Marissa, we're so glad that Katrina put us in contact with you because you've been dealing with these debilitating issues since how old? I started developing symptoms when I was 10 years old. Um, I started with fatigue. I always felt like I wasn't getting enough oxygen. Constantly taking deep breaths and yawning, which I later learned was a symptom of babesia, which I did test positive for two forms. Um, babesia dentani and babesia microti. Um, it later developed um, through the years. Um, I developed the same virus every single month. It consisted of sore throat, fatigue, loss of body, um, felt very crippled for a week, two weeks, and then it would go away only to come back a month or a month or two later. And the doctor did not have any rhyme or reason for it, uh, just that it was a virus and that I had a poor immune system. When I was 15 in 2008, I started developing short-term memory loss. I would forget where I was, where I was going, why I was there. I would forget my school schedule, what classes I had to go to. Um, a lot of things with my memory was failing. Um, very, very fatigued. I remember complaining to my mother every single morning that even though I had a full night's sleep, I would wake up the next morning feeling so drained and so exhausted, so unlike away of me. Um, later progressed into uh, the same virus, came out again, only this time it was more like meningitis symptoms, very, very stiff neck, um, excruciating migraines, light sensitivity, dizziness, felt very disoriented, burning spinal pain, lots of joint and bone pain, felt very, very crippled, and the emergency room had no reason for this other than dehydration, and this did not settle, it did not go away. Two days later, I started experiencing um, neurological symptoms where I had trouble walking. I had a very awkward gait where my knees buckled, my upper body swayed, um, my, lip, my legs felt so weak, um, like I wasn't connected to my legs. Um, it later progressed until I was paralyzed from the hips down, and that lasted for about nine months. And I was wheelchair bound and unable to walk properly for three years. So um, this disease caused me a lot of pain. Um, it ripped away a lot of my uh, childhood years, and I'm still battling to this day with the pain, the fatigue, and the neurologic symptoms that launched the disease. Um, I was ended up positive for seven different colon infections, including Lyme disease. So it was a very crippling and debilitating experience for me to this day. Like I said, I'm still. Um, from the effects of it.